here are the rules. You guys will take turns answering Age of Empires 2 related questions. There will be 16 questions in total, divided into three groups of increasing difficulty. You'll get one point for a level 1 question, two points for a level 2 question, and three points for a level 3 question. In the case of an incorrect answer, your opponent will have the chance to steal. As always, the majority of the questions for this quiz have been provided by my friend Azat Spike, but for this episode, we're also including suggestions from Big Walter and Aaron. Thank you so much, everybody, for your contributions. For those of you watching or listening to this, if you happen to be someone who enjoys coming up with fun and entertaining questions related to Age of Empires 2, send me an email, and we might feature some of your suggestions in a future episode of this quiz. Hera, Leary, my friends, it's always a pleasure. And thank you so much for taking the time to be here. How are you guys today? Is that a one-point question? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, let, I'll let Hera answer first. I will see what he answers so I can love that. Uh, I'm doing good. It's, good. it's good to be here. It should be fun. Yeah, I'm doing better. <laughs> oh, okay. So Leary is already leading the charge. So, we're going to see about that, but he doesn't know the texture at all. <laughs> <laughs> I need some points in the head already. You guys ready? Yes. Yes. Let's go. We're actually going to start with Hera here. Okay. Yeah. Hera. <laughs> Seed one. <laughs> <laughs> Class in second place, second. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. What is the only sieve that gets camel riders, but no heavy camel riders? Cubans, easy. That's it. One po wow. That was Not, a level one question. That was a level one question. One Shit. point for Hera. <laughs> good luck, good luck. <laughs> mm. Not even a hint of hesitation there. Wow. Okay, so question two. This is going to be for Leary. Leary, what is the only sieve that gets battle elephants, but no elite battle elephants? What? That doesn't, that doesn't make any sense, actually. Why would any Sith have elephants but no elite elephants? Well, I'm not the dev. Don't ask me. Probably one of the new Sith songs. They're always lacking something. Uh... <laughs> I have no, no idea. I don't know when was the last time I played Battle Elephants. Can I go off the new Siths? <laughs> we saw the Battle Elephants once. <laughs> Bengalis. That's unfortunately incorrect. Good. And that means that Hera's got a chance to steal. Dravidians. I have nothing anyway. Dravidians is correct. I knew it was one of the new sieves. Of course it was. <laughs> Classic, oh, yeah. actually. You have to pick the bad sieve. Like, the bad sieve has nothing. You, you, you know this. I knew I knew the three new sieves. Like, Bengalis, Dravidians, or like... Uh, yeah. It was close. It was All close. right. We're just starting. So, no worries. Uh, that's two points for Hera so far. Yeah, I'm going for a little free question, Sculpto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put the copium emotes just as you say that. That would be fun. All right, Hera, what's the cheapest unique unit? And just for clarification, unique unit here refers to units that can only be created from a castle. Karambit. And that's it. One point for Hera. Wow. <laughs> you guys, did you like give him the, the cheat papers before or what? <laughs> I feel like in school here, getting bullied by, by the tests, by the questions. <laughs> that's one more point for Hera. Uh, moving on, Leary. That's expensive one. <laughs> What's the unique unit with the highest HP? And again, unique unit refers to the one that can only be trained from a castle. Elephant from Persians. That's the Persian War elephant. I know there those. You go. I have done those before. <laughs> Let's go, Larry. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and people have complained I don't give too much info on the answer, so let me do just that. So the Karembat Warrior was correct by Leary, uh, by Hera. They cost 40 res in total. And in the case of the unique uh, units, the War Elephant, that's 450 HP in Castle Age and 600 in Imperial Age. So both of you guys were correct. Awesome. Amazing. I think the next two are a little bit harder, but let's see. Hera, what's the most expensive technology or unit upgrade that can be researched at the archery range? Most expensive at the archery range? So I have one. I'm just trying to double check real quick. Yeah, but uh, what, do you mean, what, what do you mean you're going to double check? I'm just thinking through. I'm just thinking through. That's so, uh, <laughs> We should add like a timer or something. I just go with it. Yeah, you're taking twice as long as me, dog. What are you talking about? <laughs> My questions are harder. Okay, heavy, heavy cab archer. 
There has to be That's some trick incorrect. behind. Incorrect. Yes, I knew there was some trick behind, like that some editor or something, like some unique take. That means that Leary has got the chance to steal. Um. Wait, can't you build like elephant archers? Isn't there a Sith that can build elephants from ranges? That upgrade, right? Oh, I don't know what's it called. What was that again? Is it some elephant upgrade from the range? I can't think of the Sith or the upgrade you, or you the unit. You do, yeah, you don't need to name the Sith. You just need to name the upgrade. Uh, elite. <laughs> if elite that what? Elite what? Elite elephant upgrade. Elite elephant archer. I'm going to take archer. it as the correct <laughs> answer. That's correct. Was... That's one point for Leary. Yeah, there you right. go. Which Sith have it. those? The um, <laughs> of course. Right, the dynasties of India, right? And mm. uh, heavy cavalry archer was pretty close, Hera. That, that's actually the second most yeah, expensive deck. I knew there was a trick. Um, yeah, so elite elephant archer costs 1,000 food, 800 gold. And heavy cavalry archer would be 900 food, 500 gold. So pretty close. And you guys are pretty close. That's three points for Hera, two points for Leary. Question six for Leary again. What's the most expensive technology that can be researched at the university? <laughs> In total, right? Like combined. Right, combined resources. That's correct. Is this Siege Engineers? That was just a question, by the way. I won't be answering, <laughs> but you can ask yourself. That's cool. Bomber tower more expensive. Actually, I have to I have to be careful. I'm giving him tips here in case I go wrong. <laughs> you might be just misdirecting. You know, you, you might be just yeah, trying to mess mind him gaming up. here. Yeah. Correct. I'm gonna go with. What is it? I'm gonna go with bomber tower upgrade. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. One point for Leary. I was hoping he baited with the siege engineers. Yeah, it was too, it would be too easy, honestly. You guys are good because Siege Engineers would actually be the second most expensive. Uh, so yeah. Bomber Tower is 800 food, 400 wood. Siege Engineers, 500 food, 600 wood. So pretty close and pretty Neither expensive. Upgrade was both useless. Of them. <laughs> 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 All right. And we're coming to the last question of level one. Is This one is actually going to be for both of you at the same time. So name three players you'll be facing in the group stage of T90's Platinum League. So this is how we're going to do things. Uh, Harold will go first. He will give me three names. Then Leary will give me his three names. And only after Leary's answer, I'll reveal whether your answers were right or wrong. So three Got people are going to play in the group stage? Correct. Three yeah. players you're going to be playing in the group stage of T90s. It's like, it's like a, it's like a Season two. <laughs> Season two, of course. Kingston, Kapach, Jordan. <laughs> okay, that's three names from Hera. Three names from Leary now. Grakant, Bagdi, Grakant. Nah, what's the who's, who's another player I face? Uh, those are the only two people I'm scheduling with right now. <laughs> ah, what's the third one? God, it's such an easy one as well. Well, apparently not. Yo! Yo is in there as well. And so that's your final answer. Yes. All right, so Hera's answer was correct. One point for Hera. And Leary's answer was also correct. <laughs> One point for everybody. Well done. Well done. What's the score? is checking right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to add up things. I'm going to tell you the score, just letting people know. So for Hera, the answers would be Jordan, Kapach, Miguel, Ganji, and Kingstone. Um, and for Leary, it would be NBL. Uh, Mr. Yo, back to Draken. You said Drakant, Draken. Mm -hmm. I have him as Draken, the same guy. And Dark uh, is also uh -huh. on your group. Okay, so pretty interesting. This means that everybody has got four points. Yeah. As close as it gets. Amazing. Well done, my friends. And that means we're going to move on to level two questions. So these are going to be a little bit harder, and these are going to be worth two points. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yes. All right, so this is a pretty interesting one, I reckon. Name the following civilization icons. So oh, I'll God. be showing you six Civ icons. I haven't played <laughs> with icons yet. I don't have that mod. 
three uh, for each of you, and whoever gets the most correct answers gets two points. If you get one, you already won. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there will be a chance to steal for each answer. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. mm. Boom, let's go. The first one is going to go for Hera. And this is it. You can click on it too as well, Larry. Hans, Hans. Boom, oh, that's, yeah, it. Well. that's it. That's it. That's, that's a one free few ones I know. Yeah. Um, that means, right, so as I said, it's whoever gets the most correct answers gets two points. So we're going to move on to Larry. This is going to be the one for Larry. What would that be, my friend? Oh, I've seen this one before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I... you have. It's Teutons, right? Yeah, Teutons, I think. Teutons is incorrect. That means what? chance to steal for Hera. Frank's. That's Franks indeed. One more point for Hera. Was enough, honestly. <laughs> Thank God I'm an 1800 Frank abuser. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Moving on. This is going to be the. the th one look. Um, well, we can actually have a look at that later. Uh, this one is for Hera. What would that be, my friend? Bohemians. Wow. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> what? That's I can, it! I can pass wow. the next three to Leary. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> well, just give everything to Hera at this point. <laughs> Absolutely destroying the question. All right, so we're going to go for the fourth one. This one is going to be for Larry. Larry, what would that be? What? It looks like, it looks like a cartoon. Is that a Mesosif? <laughs> Not Aztecs. <laughs> I've never seen this before. What is this? Has to be a new Sif, honestly. I'm pretty Bengalis, sure. Bengalis. Bengalis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going over a new Sif. I think Hera's reaction says everything. It's incorrect. In Incas, Incas. Incas, wow. wow. Incas. Very close, bro. Wow. I knew Mr. Sif. was like a cartoonish. Man, Hera absolutely <laughs> destroying this question. Okay, uh, Hera's already got the two points, to be fair, but just uh, for the sake of being fair, and because this was a ton of work, I'm just going to give you still uh, all the pictures missing. So fifth one, this would be for Hera again. What would that be? Berbers. Dude, wow. Mm. Um, that's, that's it. That's what you that's... started at university, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I dropped See? out. <laughs> and just the final one for Leary, this one. What would be this one, Leary? I got it, Leary, don't worry. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> Is there like a tip or something I can go on? Like the <laughs> Can I give him a tip? Yeah, can I give him a tip? For sure, for sure. They got buffed recently. They're the best save in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Well, you're throwing him off now. <laughs> That's incorrect. <laughs> yeah, can I trust his opinion? <laughs> not really, no. <laughs> I'm a little bit biased. Chinese, but not anymore. They got buffed recently. What got buffed? Portuguese, bro. Just going to act. <laughs> <laughs> <Just going to. laughs> true, Portuguese got buffed. Uh. <laughs> I would have never guessed Portuguese, honestly. Once That's that. it. Well, that means two points oh, for Hera. And we have six points in total for Hera, four points for Leary. Still pretty close. Still pretty close. Now, we're going to move on with the next question. And for the next two questions, there won't be a chance to steal. Okay? Thank so God. we're going to... That means, Hera, feel free to think aloud. Mm -hmm. uh, let me know what's let us know what's going on through your head. Uh, which of the following sieves get the Hussar upgrade? <laughs> <laughs> this is like a home field advantage. Like, I hope there's an marvelous <laughs> question as well. Some archer questions coming up. Italians, Sicilians, Koreans, Celts, Vietnamese, Vikings. There yeah. can be more than one correct answer, so you yeah, need to tell I, me all of them. I got you. Vikings, no. Sicilians, no. And the second to last, what was it? Okay, Vietnamese. We're just going to repeat the question. No. Uh, just going to repeat the answers and can yeah. write them down if you want. So it's Italians, Sicilians, Koreans, Celts, 
Vietnamese or Vikings? Which one doesn't have hussar? The question is which one has ah or which ones have hussar? Italians, uh, Celts, uh, the other one. I'm just I know I just don't Koreans. That's it. Two <laughs> points for Hera. Wow. Celts get hussar. <laughs> Celts yeah, do Celts get do. Hussar, but they're so bad that nobody uses them, basically. Yes, I've never seen them before. <laughs> I have. I've made them before. Oh, of course you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess the same thing can be said for Koreans, right? I actually made Koreans in the game against you. Hussars <laughs> once. The one who you played Slavs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Come on, that one again. I don't want to say. <laughs> Watch on YouTube. <laughs> Skip the end. <laughs> All right, Leary, you ask, you shall receive. Which of the following sieves get the Arbalester upgrade? Again, I write them down, actually. Yeah, there can be more than one correct answer, so you need to tell me all of them. So the options are Tatars, Cumans, Turks, Dravidians, Bengalis, Lithuanians. Mm. Which civs do get the Arbalest, right? Most of Which civs do get the Arbalester upgrade? Dravidians. Dravidians and Bengalis. That's it. Two <laughs> points for Leary. Wow. Well, let's go. The nuisance, man. You're making it hard <laughs> for him. Yeah, honestly, I had to think. <laughs> That's why I played archers my last 20 years. <laughs> Didn't it feel like you had to think a whole lot there, to be fair. All right, so this, uh, the next two ones are kind of tricky. They require you to think a little bit. It's, mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't think they're very hard for the best two players in the world, but they require you to think a little bit. So we're going to go Hera. It's going to be the next one. Hera. What's the only technology that can be researched instantly before advancing to Castle Age? Yeah, but... I have a question. Is like, is Goth Loom instantly? Or is it like Viking Wheelbarrow? You basically already answered that's a uh, Goth <laughs> Loom. Well done. Wow. Well, uh, I I was about to add a clarification that this, not, this does not include free technologies. Okay, you yeah. just answered, just didn't let me say anything. You got it. Two points. Okay. Wow. You guys are destroying this. Amazing. All right. So let's move on with the Leary. Leary, here's your question. What's the only technology the Spanish get a discount on before advancing to Castle Age? Get a discount on? <laughs> and for for this question, there will be a chance to steal for Hera. Repeat the question again? For sure. What's the only technology the Spanish get a discount on before advancing to Castle Age. Take your time, there's no rush. Are the blacksmith upgrades meant here? <laughs> Only thing I can think of, a Spanish half. What do you think? Get a discount? Discount? It has to be the blacksmith upgrades, no? That's my answer. Right, but we need the, a technology. There's only one they have a discount on. Okay, so oh. when you say black, blacksmith, there are too oh, many. Oh, I see, I see, I see the fletching. Wow, that's it. Uh, Two yeah, points for Leary. Well done. Wow, you guys are really incredible here. Wow. So let me add up the scores here. This means Hera's got 10 points right now, and Leary got four points in this round. That means uh, four plus four. That's eight, right? Quick maths. Mm. Uh, that means Hera's got 10 points. Leary's got eight points. Still very, very close. And we're going to move on to round three, level three questions. And this means three points per question. Questions are going to be maybe a little bit harder. I don't know. You guys are totally destroying it. So I feel like these ones might be pretty easy as well. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. This question is going to be for both of you at the same time again. Name the following voice lines. 
So I'll be playing you guys six sound clips of villagers, military units, or monk lines. And I need you guys to tell me what civilization they belong to. Okay? So it's uh, three clips for each of you, and there will be a chance to steal. Whoever gets the most correct answers gets three points. You guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start with Hera. I can repeat as often as you guys want. Okay, so here we go. First sound. Theodike. Celts. Wow, that's it. <laughs> Correct. Moving on. Next one is for Lyri. Mandatum. <sighs> I have to repeat it a couple times. For sure. Here we go. Mandatum. <laughs> I need another voice line from that Civ. I recall it. I only need the Civ. I don't need the unit. So only... By the way, the first was a female villager from Celts. Uh, Hera got it right. Here it goes again. Mandatum. It's an army for sure. <laughs> I think some German Civ. I'm just gonna go with Teutons again. Has to be right eventually. Teutons is incorrect, unfortunately. Chance to steal for Hera. I go with Britons and it's a militia. Britons is correct. Uh, it's just a military unit, so it's the uh, same okay. for all the military military okay. units. That's it. That's it. Well done. We're gonna move on. Well, if I can't uh, get Britons right, then. <laughs> <I'm sleeping laughs> <close> here. <laughs> all right. Uh, this is gonna be for Hera. Hera, what is this? Nuk Jumel. Say it again. It's not me, just to make it clear. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Play it again, whoops. Nuk Jumel. Uh, um, I think it's Berbers. Dude, amazing. That's it, correct. Wow. Amazing. That you was actually listen to those while playing, those, playing the games? Well, I mean, <laughs> not really, but like, yeah, I'm just taking a good guess. No. This was indeed a, a Berber male villager, so that was correct. Okay, moving on to Leary. Leary, here we go. Ataka! <laughs> That's an eagle. <laughs> Question is which fucking eagle it is. Oh, is it an Actually, repeat. For sure. Ataka! No, it's not an eagle. No, not an eagle. Oh. Again, the unit doesn't doesn't matter. Yeah, was wrong anyway. Play it again, please. For sure. Ataka. Hmm. <laughs> No idea, actually. Uh, Incas. Incas is incorrect. Chance to steal for Hera. I think it was close. I think it was the Mayans. Mayans is incorrect as well. Got this it. one was actually Slavs. Uh, uh, military uh, unit, uh, though, so you guys are correct safe, there. So. <laughs> Got it. Never been honestly. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Fifth file. This one is going to be for Hera again. Por Deus. Again, please. Por Deus. Oh, uh, this one I don't know. Um, can I play it a couple more times? For sure. Por Deus. Um, I really don't know this one. I'll go Bohemians. That's incorrect. Chance to steal for Leary. Play the game, please. For sure. Por Deus. I'll go with Ethiopians. 
<laughs> That's incorrect as well. It would have been a Portuguese monk, my friends. Wow.、Uh, Portuguese, but it's a little bit, little bit harder. So we have one left. The, this one is going to be for Larry. Larry. Ah, but Jeffy's. Ah, heard that voice before. I think it's a new Sif as well. Not, not again. <laughs> <laughs> Zero out of two so far. <laughs> Repeat, please. For sure. How about Jeffy's? I can imagine the sound being correct to any sif, honestly. <laughs> except, except some. No clue. Could be anything here. Actually, could be an E. Incas, eventually have to be right. Incas is incorrect. Burgundians would have been correct.、Uh, It was a Burgundian、yeah. monk as well.、Uh, All right,、uh, with three correct answers, Hera gets the three points here. Let's go. So let's、uh, let's add it up to the score. But everything is still open. A recovery is still very much possible. Okay. And no sounds or images. <laughs> yeah, it's indeed no sounds, no no images. The next two questions are、nice. pretty hard, as far as I can tell. <clears throat> We're gonna start with Hera for the next、mm -hmm. question. Hera, <clears throat> what's the only Civ with a Castle Age unique technology that costs more than its Imperial Age unique technology? And、mm -hmm. for a clarification, unique technology here refers to the ones you research in your castle. So basically, the silver、mm -hmm. and gold crown icons. There will be a chance to steal. Feel free to think aloud anyway if you want to. Um. Well, I think this is the first time Hera is actually thinking. Yeah, this is this is a really good question. Um. Well, my first thought was Britons because Yeoman's expensive, but no, Werewolf should be more expensive. I think it's seven fifty four fifty versus eight hundred six hundred or eight hundred four hundred. So I think, yeah, I don't think Britons is it. Sorry, there's a cat. Hold on, let me just take the cat out. <laughs> I think I have an idea actually. Well, that's good. You need the points to recover, my friend. <laughs> I hope I don't mix up the two unique decks. <laughs> that's my issue here. <laughs> that's cool. No All right.、Um, <clears throat> Castle is unique tech that's more expensive. Uh, 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 trying to think of the good Castle is unique techs.、Uh, I know like the Tatars one is good, but I don't think it's that expensive.、Uh, I'm gonna go with poles. So lots of privileges. So poles is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Chance to steal for Leary. I think Persians, no. Wow, that's it. Three points. Wow. Oh, well done, well done. Respect, respect. Okay. Amazing. That's three <laughs> points for Leary. Wow. Sheesh. Yeah. That's... Sheesh. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right. So there,、uh, Castle Age unique technology, the Commanderin,、uh, which makes the crossbows cost no gold, costs seven hundred resources in total. And the Imperial Age technology would be the Mahouts, or、mm -hmm. I don't know how to pronounce it.、Uh, the increased <laughs> speed for elephants, which only costs six hundred resources in total. Wow! Did you、yeah. have to think, or was it clear to you right away? I mean, that's the、uh, <laughs> I've done the, those unique takes in the past before, mainly the imp one. <laughs> <So> . So, <laughs> I remember it wasn't that expensive. My only worry was that、uh, you could make the Mahouts or whatever it's called in Castle Age, and I would switch those two up. <laughs> Amazing, man! Amazing. So it's、uh, right now it's thirteen points for Hera. It's eleven points for Leary, and we still have two questions left. So next one is going to be for Leary. Again, there will be a chance to steal. Leary, what are the only two sieves with unique technologies that cost stone? And again, just for clarification, unique technologies、mm. the ones you can research in your castle. Do I get one point if I name one? No, sir. It needs to be both of them. So I can't even mention one. Mention one, otherwise Hera knows the other one. <laughs> well, you can try to misdirect him, and then. <laughs> True. 
the, that's also a strategy. Because again, there will be a chance to steal. It's the second one. Not makes sense, but it makes sense here. There's a lot on the line right now, so I'm going to give you all the time you want. I'm going to go with Koreans and Turks. Koreans and Turks is incorrect. That means chance to steal for Hera. Uh, I don't remember the Korean one taking stone. Turk one used to cost stone, but it got patched. Really? I believe so. What the hell? <laughs> I'm going to say, zero, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna say Celts and Chinese. But I'm not 100%. Celts and Chinese is incorrect. <laughs> Pretty close, though. It would have been Teutons and Chinese. Um, but you did, you, you were correct indeed that Turks used to cost mm -hmm. stone. That doesn't cost anymore. True, crenellations. So for, uh... Right, that's it. For Teutons, it would have been the crenellations, uh, which uh, increases the range for castles. And for Chinese, it would be the Great Wall. Mm -hmm. which is actually a castle age unique technology all right that's awesome we're gonna move ahead for the last question with everything still open it's 13 Everyone points wins. Uh... that's it that's it it's 13 points for Hera. it's 11 points for larry so there won't be a draw whoever gets this question correct wins it so i'm very excited for this okay it's gonna be a question for both of you guys at the same time Name the civilizations you've played with in the finals of the Grand Melee. All right. So you'll take turns giving me an answer for this question. Each of you guys used nine sieves in total. So Hera will start by telling me one sieve he used in the final. Then Larry will tell me one. Then back to Hera and so on. As soon as one of you guys gives me a correct answer and the opponent an incorrect answer, the round is over and the winner gets three points you guys Sorry. ready for this yeah <clears throat> yes Burmese. Burmese. Uh, okay you don't even give me time okay let's go hera starts okay. Burmese. that's correct leary italians <laughs> italian is correct <laughs> <laughs> challenge is correct so we are going back to hera hans hans is correct leary Mongols. Mongol is correct as well. We keep going. Hera. Saracens. Saracens is correct as well. Byzantines. Byzantine is correct. Uh, Hera Korean. seems. <laughs> Korean. Okay. Koreans is correct. Back to Leary. <laughs> Bohemians. Bohemians is correct as well. So four saves for everybody so far. Hera. Turks. Turks is correct. Bengalis. Bengalis is correct as well. Burgundians. Burgundians is correct. Just copying me. Copying my games. Burmese, what was Burmese? Burmese was the first game, actually, I just realized. I'll have to bleep that, but let's go. <laughs> mm, I lost my lost train of thoughts, damn it. Um, Remember the games I won. <laughs> uh. <God>. That's correct. <laughs> Let's go. I think everybody's got five sips, right? One, two, three, four, five. No, everybody's got six sips so far. Uh, I'll name a seventh Ethiopians. 
Ethiopians <laughs> is correct. Back to Leary. You can use Ethiopians. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dravidians? Dravidians is correct as well. Getting really close. Back to Hera. Persians. Persians is correct. <laughs> I play on that map. And back I play. To three. Remember, it was a disaster game. <laughs> well, if you want to name the map just to make it more interesting, feel free to. Yeah, it was the Frigid Lake one. What happened there? I think I tried some nonsense, some other stuff. Uh, Lithuanians or not? I think. I can't imagine you banned Lithuanians. I'm gonna go with Lithuanians. Lithuanians is incorrect! And that means the hero wins the quiz show! <laughs> yeah, you, messed, you messed up yourself because you played Japanese on Fish and Fish and you played Dravidians on Fish and Lake. Man, oh. this guy has a memory. That's uh, uh, precisely the one, correct. The last one just to show off his Mayans. <laughs> it would have been Mayans. Yeah, right. So for Leary, oh, Jap Japanese? Japanese and Franks. I think it didn't say Franks, right? So Franks yeah, was, still, Franks, was, yeah. was still missing. Mm -hmm. All right. So Harris starting 2023 strong with a victory. I think so... place again, Pog. <laughs> In such a prestigious <laughs> event. We went this interview. Uh, Leary had a really good showing. Uh, he played really well. I'm very proud of him. Went to the last game, went to the last point. Cider. You're going to be kidnapped. You're going to finish. Yeah, that's, a, that's the interview. <laughs> All right, my friends, listen. This was really awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time. The, this was it. Um, it was really great to have you guys here. And for the folks watching and listening, if you happen to enjoy this type of content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you know, starting this year, I'll try to upload videos a bit more often on the channel. And YouTube does tell me that the vast majority of my viewers is not subscribed. So it would be awesome if you guys uh, could help me there. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much, Hera and Larry. And we shall see each other next time. Peace. Thank you.